Hi sir, on clicking interactive render, I'm just getting a black screen, please help. So in this video, we're going to sort out the VRA black screen once and for all. Let's go. All right, so tip number one is generally I render with the sections and you can see that this section is overlapping with the wall. So if it's inside the wall, you can see that now it's inside the wall, you'll only see the back side of the face. So make sure your section is always inside the room. So all you need to do is select the section and move it in and you're done. So now if I go to scene one and click on V-Ray, V-Ray Interactive Render button. And after switching on the lights, you can see that we can see our interior light. Right, so that's tip number one where your section plane needs to cut through the room properly and it's not just cutting on the wall here. Make sure it's cutting in properly and then place your camera. And also make sure that your section settings has effect light off so that none of the light from this side of the room is entering the space. So make sure you follow these settings for using mode subtract and effect light as off and clip light geometry as on. And similarly, tip number two is like placing your camera inside the room, make sure it is not overlapped with the wall. So now you can see that it's overlapped with the wall. And now if I click on run with VDA interactive render, you'll get a black screen. So make sure your camera is placed correctly and is not overlapped with any wall in SketchUp. Now tip number three is to use light mix in your VDA interactive render. So if I go to my VRA asset editor, you go to render elements. I have the render element called light mix added and it's a good idea to group instances. You can also group individual lights if you don't have too many lights in your scene. But I like using group instances because if I change one set of similar lights, for example, these down lights, then both the down lights would change together. So all you need to do to add a light mix is right click here and you'll find light mix here and you can add it in. So once you've added light mix, you can change the settings here and then click on V-Ray with the render with V-Ray Interactive. All right, so a lot of students, they generally switch off all the lights in the light mix settings and then end up asking questions on the course page that I'm getting a black screen. So make sure you've added ample lights and also switched on all the lights here. And one way to check your lights in V-Ray for SketchUp is by switching it off and then turning them on one by one. So you can see this is a filler light coming from the door. This is the light from the down light here. You can also see how much of an effect it has in the scene. And then we have a sunlight coming in from the window. We have our environment light as well. You can also turn them on one by one and check if they are working. Self-illumination is these lamps here. You can also increase the intensity, for example, you can increase the intensity of these lights and change the value. And then you can turn on the other lights as well. Now generally you get these spots when the light is placed inside a material. So if you want to avoid this issue, all you need to do is make sure you place the light a little outside the lamp. Or you can also reduce the value so to say 10 and you will get rid of those extra spots in your scene. But this seems a little too much, so I'll just keep it to two and leave it as is. Now, sometimes when students use the sunlight, they do not set the right sun direction. So I'm going to stop the render here. And I'm going to switch on the shadows. So go to view and click on shadows. So you can see that the shadow is actually falling this side. Now, uh, the reason why the shadow is falling inside in the V-Ray Interactive is because we're using custom orientation. So if I go to my lights here, click on sunlight, you can see that I've switched on custom orientation. But if I switch this off, and now run an in V-Ray Interactive render, you'll notice that we'll get a black screen. And that's because sun is falling from this side of the SketchUp window. So you can see it's falling on the roof. So to fix this issue, all you need to do is install a plugin called Solar North. So if you go to extensions, warehouse, 
search for solar north you can install this plugin and then you can change the north in your sketchup window so i'm going to switch on the shadows and then i can set the north so click on set north and then set the north so make sure to set in such a way that the light falls into the room i think this should suffice and now if i go to scene 2 or scene 1 that is and run an interactive v-ray render you can notice that the light comes in perfectly you can of course change the light settings here as well so if you go to shadows you can change it here but in general the green axis is pointed towards the north in sketchup so the chances of light falling from the north side of the room is limited because generally sun direction is from the south east to the southwest so if you want to change the north then make sure that the light is falling from this side you can use the solar north plugin all right and the next tip what i would say is always check your curtain materials because sometimes the curtain materials would block the light so if i check this material you can see that this is a proper transparent or translucent material so i've used a two-sided material and i've applied a material called the v-ray white base it's a simple material with the fall off map it generates that curtain and i've applied the same material the white base on the front and the back and you can make it either opaque or transparent by dragging this translucency slider so always make sure you create this material and then you need to enter this group select both sides of the faces by triple clicking and then apply the material so make sure you apply this material because if it's an opaque material there won't be any light coming into the room the same goes for the glass material as well make sure you always check the glass material and make sure it has reflection as full and refraction as full so that light enters the room and now my last tip is that if you're using an older version of V-Ray if you go to settings and if you run an interactive render with the RTX mode and NVIDIA AI it may not work in your old comp because you generally need an RTX graphic card for this mode to work so in that case all you need to do is just stick to CPU and stick to V-Ray from the start of your render process till the end it might be a, a bit slower compared to RTX but it would get the job done and you would not face any black screen issues so I hope this video helps you solve your black screen issues and you don't face any V-Ray black scene ever again in your SketchUp and V-Ray journey now if you want to learn more about SketchUp and V-Ray all you need to do is go to unimi.com and then search for SketchUp and you'll find my course here to complete SketchUp and V-Ray course for interior design I've already sort of logged in so I get access so you, you get access to about six projects so far but I keep adding new sections and more projects in this course and you'll get to create cool renders like this with your SketchUp model using V-Ray for SketchUp I hope to see you guys in the course inside. You can also use the Q&A section to ask me questions and I'll personally answer all your questions as well. So I'll see you guys in the course inside. Please do like and subscribe if you found this video useful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.